actually I was uh, uh, discussing that you silomate. It is a true body cavity lined with mesoderm, right? Here, peritel peritorium. See peritel peritorium. Here I said vascular. It is not vascular. Visceral, visceral peritorium. See you have to correct it. I did a mistake. Visceral peritorium. As usual, this is endoderm, endoderm, ectoderm outside, and the, these dots are called visceral peritorium, and this is peritel peritorium. And here there is no mesoderm, therefore, true silom is there, right? This is a true silomate. See further, it is uh, divided into two category that is size seal and yen yen to yen tiro Seal. Here you put what entro seal. It is divided into two part. Here the cilium is formed by splitting. This is it splits here inside. Here it split here by splitting of mesoderm. So I will write what happens here. See first I will write endoderm and ectoderm and then mesoderm see all this group of cells is there everywhere. But this is group of cells are there, it is everywhere. This is endoderm and ectoderm. Now group of cells are there. What is the next stage? I'll write it here only. It form a cavity gradually. It form a cavity. This cavity gradually expands. Right? It gradually expands and it forms like this. Understood? Gradually it will go there. It fill everywhere. That is what? This is group of uh, group of mesoderm cells gradually form a cavity and gradually this uh, this everything is go to the corner and finally it will become like this. Understood? So that here this will be empty place. Right? This cavity only is occupying this. Right? Cavity is occupying. Right? This type of formation is called scissors selamate. Right? Formed by, what is that? The basic word is splitting of mesoderm. What actually happened? First stage, second stage, there are three, four diagram has to do, but I am doing only one diagram, this first stage. And third stage is what? First stage, second stage and the third stage. Can you follow? Here, enterocilis is the cavity has a part of uh, part of earth centron right this is also called cavity of gastrula cavity of gas example echino derm echino derms even in corridata also here yeah, this is an example there you will observe all this see main thing is these terms where it is placed all these things you have to identify and uh, you have to prepare 
subsidiary nodes on this basis. This is a lot like a skeleton. On the skeleton, you have to put muscles and give a life. Next, uh, sixth part, based on germ layer, how we are going to classify this animal kingdom. Right? There are two types. Two germ layer and three germ layers. This we call di diploblastic. This is three means what? Triploblastic. See, you know the vocabulary again. This is triploblastic or diploblastic or triploblastic. Here, one. What are they? Ectoderm, endoderm. I did not tell what are the things, right? For example, this what? Porifera. Phylum porifera. Nidaria and all that. Phylum porifera, you remember. For uh, triplo blast, what are the things? Three, no? You know very well that is one is what? Ectoderm. Two. Endoderm. Three. Mesoderm also include plant elementis example plant elementis plant elementis right plant elementis to corrugate everything included right from that plant elementis epithelementis is like that it comes now up to corrugate are the example. Okay. Here, how many layers? Ectoderm, endoderm, two layers. Here, ectoderm, endoderm, mesoderm layer. Here, phylum porifera. Here, plant element is to corrugate. Just remember this. This is sixth, seventh. Next comes metamerism. What is metamerism? Metamerism there, the repetition of some structures. Repetition of some structure. You have to remember this. Repetition of some structures. Example, Analida. We have external segment this is also called metamer no metamers and here external the next what internal segment. I want to tell you one external segment, say example, earthworm. See here. Right? Earthworm. You can see the segment, no external segment. See, you can see the external segment in the earthworm. Like this. Here, internal segment also formed. It's formed due to, by septa remember september okay it formed by what is septa septa means what cross walls 
Remember, septa means. Therefore, we write meta merically segmented. Right? This type of questions repeatedly they will be asking. That is the reason. Meta merically. See, remember this. Okay? Analida, external segment. And this internal segment, in the internal segment it comes septa septa means cross wall, metamerically segmented. Okay. Next comes analida. Next, when you come for vertebrate, when you come to vertebrates, it is internal. metamerism only internal meta merism only say example ribs muscles all these things right in clearly in orthopods orthopods the external external meristomatism is clearly visible right that the external meristem is clearly visible okay remember here vertebrate there is no external metamerism only internal metamerism is there where orthopods external metamerism is metamerism same spelling is visible it is very clear but it is very evident okay pro thorax i don't know much spelling about that pro thorax i think that is the correct thing meso thorax pro thorax meso thorax and meta thorax these three you remember right not only that see another important thing is ten abdominal segments are visible this is an important point for arthropods right pro thorax meso thorax meta thorax then here for arthropods there are 10 abdomen segments are visible okay next in the animal kingdom we discuss about the cephalization sorry c p h not e a p h cephalization here the head is formed by head is head formation head formation is due to concentration of what concentration of central nerve system right central nerve system the one is ganglia another one is what brain see this neurological signals and all this one big topic on this in central nervous system it's very interesting topic example flat worm that is flat worm to uh chordates the this uh, there is a development from ganglia to brain this is simple to complex nerve systems this is a simple nerve system flat form ganglia it is a very simple nerve system as you go from flat form to chordata the central nerve system gradually develops from to ganglia to brain like that way you have to remember okay this is a gradual uh, what is metamorphosis you can call the development 
see before this flat worm okay what about that right this flat worm next correlator come before that no cephalization there is no head formation cephalization means no head formation is there that is you can write before flat worm no cephalization you remember this cephalization start from flat worm worm onwards okay two flat worms to corridors